already walked 18 miles and the two albergers that are in this little town are both closed which is very very frustrating because it is a long long walk to the next one and now I'm annoyed at myself because I should have just stayed in Pamplona now I've got to decide what to do and I don't know what to do so I'm gonna stop and have some food and then make a decision I mean it's still really early so I can carry on and do a few more miles I just don't want to I wanted to stop right now the good news is that I have chatted with some fellow pilgrims who have let me know that yes the Albergias are shut and the one the next closest one is four miles away four miles to go folks what my 18 miles in 92 yeah 22 miles 230 38,894 steps done yeah let's see how long it takes us to get there I'm about half a mile away. That's the little town that I'm walking towards. So hopefully you get there in the next 10 minutes or so. Just keeping my fingers crossed that they have a bed for me. So much drama but uh, Maria the incredible taxi driver behind me has just driven me to, called up basically I don't even know where I am at the moment I'm at a hostel here she called up they're gonna look after me and she's just gonna collect me tomorrow morning at seven o'clock to take me back to the start so all worked out in the end good with my stuff and I don't know where they've gone so have I left in a taxi I'm hoping so that's my only option I've checked my bed I've checked my whole bag there's nothing in there oh I have them for like five days and I've lost them after day five um anyway this is the front of the hostel where I stayed and actually the Camino does actually run through this so this is 11 miles away from where I finished yesterday so driven back 11 miles to where I started walk through here again and then I think I'll have to try and pop back in again tomorrow and just be like hey has anyone handed in any sunglasses because the only thing I can think of is when I was checking them in I left them on the table um, um, but this this little section is locked uh, anyway let's see if we can find the missing sunglasses Wonderful news, I've just gotten in the taxi with Maria and she has my sunglasses, so drama over. I have found them. I'll be more careful in the future. This is where we came yesterday. Came through here, the hostel was full, so we're starting back up again by following the arrows this way. So I have a very clear plan of action today. I've got my hostel booked for the evening. I know exactly where I'm staying. It is 19 miles away. I would like to get there by two o'clock. That is, I'm just checking out so I've got my sunglasses. That is the plan. 19 miles, accommodation booked. I'm also changing things up. It is stressing me out so much, not having a place to sleep at night because then you're worrying about it all day. And it's just so busy at the moment. So the plan is when I get to this hostel, 2 p.m. get checked in all that good stuff I will then basically book my next hostel so I'm using this website called CaminoSleeps.com where you can it's the Camino is broken down in stages and all the towns and all the accommodation options available and then you can go directly through booking.com to book which is normally what I use anyway I'm out of breath I'm meant to be fit I'm out of breath um, that is the plan start booking at least one day ahead maybe two because otherwise I just don't want to be paying for taxis here there and everywhere because it does you know adds up so it was 
what was it like 10 euros yesterday 23 euros today so you know 33 euros on taxis for, for one day uh, check out the views just coming into the town that I slept at last night and I just remembered I've left my strawberries and red peppers in my container in the fridge so fingers crossed they are still there so I can have a little mid-morning snack and then it should just be eight miles to go. We are back where I started this morning 7am, packed by a taxi, 12.5 miles, 25,893 steps. Let's go see if my food is still here. So, annoyingly, they have binned all my food. My fault, my mistake, I shouldn't have left it. I thought it would still be here. Three hour walk, let's get to the next town. Today has been a very nondescript day. Like, I mean, obviously, getting my sunglasses back was awesome. Taxi ride to the start, great. The walk I've done, awesome. Having my food thrown away, not so great, but it is what it is. But now I've just got one mile to go. 40,822 steps, coming up to 20 miles. meters room 231 yeah pleased with today's distance and miles cannot wait have a little shower get my feet get my trainers off relax take my pack off oh, get some good water yeah maybe an ice cream or a lollipop because I'm not doing dairy at the moment oh yeah that'll be nice okay here we go up these stairs
Da, da, da. This is my bed. This is the outdoor area. So there is actually a swimming pool. I don't think I'll be going in it. And then there is a sunbathing area as well. I possibly might do some sunbathing. I'm just debating if I need to get food and go to the supermarket. Oh, maybe I'll just get a little bit settled in first and then I'll make a decision a little later on.